welcome to paradise, Honolulu, Hawaii, and the island of Oahu, which is nestled in the middle of the beautiful Sandwich Islands in Honolulu. And yes, there's a lot that can be done here as parasailing and sailing takes place here in the South Pacific. We've got fourth ranked Michigan against the University of Hawaii, a team that is trying to pull off the biggest win in the history of its program. All coming up for you on ESPN. Aloha Stadium in Honolulu, Hawaii. The Michigan Wolverines ranked fourth in the nation. And the Hawaii Rainbows, a team that has certainly proven that they can play with the big boys over the past few years, preparing to get together for the final regular season game of the college football season yet to be played. All that remains now are bowl games. And for the Wolverines of Michigan, that means the Rose Bowl. One thing about Bo Schembechler, his clubs have never lost in this stadium. They won the Holiday Bowl here, the Aloha Bowl as well, and here come the Rainbows of Hawaii. And the Michigan Wolverines are making their way onto the field as well, and they are led by their leader, the Heisman Trophy candidate, Jim Harbaugh. Michigan and Hawaii, they're next on ESPN. People in Hawaii, there's a great deal of emotion, not only this week with Al Noga making the first team All-American, but with the Rainbows facing what could be the biggest win in their history. It really is. The emotion's all on their side. Besides being a home game, emo you have to know emotionally, Michigan's got to be down. They beat Ohio State in the game of the year for them. They'll be playing the Rose Bowl later on. This will be a tough game for them to get, re get ready mentally. And there's a the man right there that's got to do it. Bo Schimbeckler's got to supply the fire today. In his 24th year, of coaching, 18th of Michigan. He's won more games than any other active coach. And Dick Tomey on the on the Hawaii sideline, who, as you see, served as, as an assistant to Bo in Miami of Ohio, and has been in Hawaii in 10 years and done a nice job in developing this program. Crowell has had two games this year over 100 yards. And it is pronounced Crowell is done. Tipped on the roll, off the screen, back to the other side to Johnson. Boys, one tackle and dives across the 30 yard line to the 32. Garland Rivers knocks his legs out from under him, but it's a first down for Hawaii. Junior Lapati, number 48, is in as a running back for Hawaii. He's in there with Crawwell, 22, split behind Chip. Comes a blitz and Chip and Ed Bringing Crown and throws complete, and then a fumble. Fumble in midfield, and Michigan is recovered. Tony Gant got the fumble. was on the move, but the big hit was by Ivan Hicks, who shook it loose. Going to the game, Dick Tomey, the coach for Hawaii, thought one place they could attack this Michigan defense are the crossing routes. Not up top, because they dropped too deep, their safeties. They have a tight end clearing underneath here. Now he'll go right over. He hung this ball up. It's a nice catch, but he gets popped right here and gives it up. That is a catch now. Ooh, back, no chance on that. You can't blame the receiver. It's awfully difficult to hold on to that ball, and it's just a turnover. Hawaii has to avoid the turnover. It was a great grab by Dias, and you can hardly blame him for coughing that one up. Morris and Perriman behind Jim Harbaugh. And Morris will try the right side. Inside the 45 to about the 44-yard line. And it's second and six for the Wolverines. McMurtry, the man in motion. And they'll go up the middle of Perriman. Perriman knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Thad Jefferson. And it's a great job for him. Perriman, first man through, gets to the 30-yard line up in the secondary is Owens to put the shoulder into him. Webb number 46 joins Perriman and Moore. Hard on the throw. McMurtry is open and driven out of bounds over there by Kyle Kofensis. Harbaugh right on target with his first throw. to the 10. Holding on to his ankles, Matt Paul, 56. Shim back over the sideline. Higgins and McMurtry in a wide receiver on third and five from the Hawaii 10. Opening possession, and Harbaugh is back to throw under pressure. And they got it. Colin Scott from Sydney, Australia gets the sack and saves the possible touchdown. Gillette is on to attempt a 40-yard field goal. He's 9 out of 14 this year. Got the distance. 
and it's good. Mike Gillette, who has been the number one kicker since the Iowa game for Michigan, puts the Wolverines on top. Three to nothing with 8.40 to go. First quarter from Honolulu. First and 10 Hawaii from their 43. Hall comes back in as the tight end. And Walsh goes out to the near side as a wide receiver. Tipton under pressure. He'll have to take the sack, and it was Mark Messner. His sixth sack of the season. He leads the team in that department. Dieter Heron also applying the pressure. Third and 13. Obvious passing down for Tipton. This has been the problem. He takes the draw. Under pressure. He was hit just as he unloaded that, but he's got Bias out there. And Bias makes a great catch, even though Dan hit him just as the ball got there. Holy cow, what a play. Tipton under pressure from behind. Doesn't see it. Guns it complete. What a throw to Colgene Walsh. Walsh knocked down by Hicks. But Tipton is having the game of his life. I think he's got to go for the field goal. You're right. This is Ron Valverde who will try from 26. He's at 12 out of 19 this year. A chance to tie it up in the second quarter. And he's got it. Valverde comes through. And Hawaii has come from behind to tie Michigan in three. 13 minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first half from Honolulu. Hard ball to draw to Morris as they keep it conservative. Morris just dancing through tackler. Skip over another one. And now it's a foot race. Morris to the 45, 50 yard line, driven out of bounds by Capenzo. A 35 yard run. What a run. given up this year, 15 yards. Well, they just gave up a big one here. Jamie Morris, I think you've heard the name Joe Morris from the New York Giants. Here comes a clone of him. This kid runs the same way. Look at that. Stomp on a dime. Keep low. Keep so low. And he's so strong after he starts upfield. No question. He's got a future in the NFL. They might be playing together in the same backfield. Morris, 10 carries, 60 yards, and now Michigan can go for some points with 305 in good field position across midfield Hawaii's territory. I understand Jamie says he can sometimes hear Joe talking to him when he's carrying the ball. He's not too sure about that, but uh, if he hears it, that's fine. And Joe apparently is giving him excellent advice. Noga is now right on the nose. He's being double teamed in the middle. Harbaugh throwing deep over the middle. Big victory! He took a shot and held on. No, he dropped it. Oh, I thought he held the ball. Sam Moku hit him. McMurtry and look at Bo. Bo's one of the two steps in right now. That definitely looked like a catch to me. I thought he held it. And Bo is beside himself. And nobody else wants to be beside him. And you can't be out on the field. And now the official is over there telling one of the assistant coaches he can't be on the field if they're leaving Bo alone. They should call a penalty here on him. Yeah, you can't be out there like that, really. And Michigan has called a timeout. Oh, it's just raging about this. This looks like an outstanding catch by Greg McMurtry. Harbaugh strung him out a little bit. Well, if you needed to light a fire, all you'd have to do is touch a match to his forehead right now. You'd get it. I think he's got a point. But it was just a matter of time. He was too relaxed yesterday. I knew that couldn't last. And Bo was very, very close to a 15-yarder. Crowd really getting on him. We'll see if this is a grab or not. I call that a catch myself. He had his foot down. You only have to have possession with the ball one foot down in college. That's a catch to me. I haven't seen it come loose yet. Outstanding effort by McMurtry. Just strung out, reaches, pulls that ball in. Oh, no, it is. No, he Nobody caught, caught it. it. That's a definite catch. He Maybe. dropped it and caught it before it hit the ground. Oh. What a great catch by McMurtry after yeah. Moku drilled him. Now what are the odds? This ball gets stripped loose from his right hand. Right here. Nice play by the defender. Takes away that right arm. Strip the ball a little bit. It'll pop loose, but now land on his back. Look at kick it off his shin right into his stomach. That is a catch. He made the catch. We're tied at three with 2.09 to go. Michigan now 
facing third and eight from the Hawaii 47-yard line after they were denied a big play. Murphy obviously on the replay made the catch. Here comes the blitz. Harbaugh with the screen. Pyramid gets away from one tackle, but not from another. And Hawaii's defense just swarming over everybody. That was a great haul by Michigan against the blitz. They got the screen, and Hawaii still defended. Just an exceptional player. Lives up to all the accolades he's received. He's just going to get better by next year. He's going to help this Hawaii program. Jokic number 84 into the wide receiver. To the near side with McMurphy on second to 14. Harbaugh chased down in the pocket. He's going to run with it. Across the 40 to the 47, 46 yard line. He's got the first down. Brought down by Levingston. The ball at midfield. He joined us late. It's 3-3. Hawaii and Michigan. Third quarter. Got a seam that time and picks up about five. Hawaii is going to the biggest win in the history of the football program. Our ball gets the three-man rush. Dumps it off. Complete the web out of the backfield. Webb inside the Hawaii 25, maybe to the 24-yard line. Bill Webb, a seldom-used junior. Well, they burn him on this play. Hawaii dropped into a four-man line. They didn't have the extra support that normally the three-man line they went for. They didn't have the outside force. Watch him get outside very easily. They gave up an outside backer. They didn't stop this option. They just ignored Harbaugh. He just picked it up. Look at the blocking downfield. All the way. Nice block by McMurtry. Almost took it into the end zone. Right side of that wishbone setup on second and four.
first down. Still on his feet. What great balance. Near the 25-yard line. Dana direct on 97 and Patrick McCray number 9 on the tackle. Showing blitz. They don't come with it now. Harbaugh in trouble. Dumps it off to Perriman. Perriman makes a good move to the 15. To the 10 Harbaugh. And Jim Harbaugh's scrambling ability and Perriman's ability to dodge a tackle from Patrick McRae gets him a big first down. I can't believe Harbaugh even saw Perriman. I don't know how he found him. He's running for his life. Drops back. He's going to put a lot of pressure. He's going to pull the ball down right there. He almost threw it. Somehow kept it in his hand. Now watch this. How can he see him? It was like, he must have just known that he was sitting there because he absolutely could not see him with his eyes. Sometimes quarterbacks, particularly when they're experienced, they played a long time in the system. They just know where the people are. Montana does it all the time for the 49ers. First and 10. We are tied at 10. And they'll go to the wishbone. Wilson number 27 is in there. Long and Forrest. And Perriman. Ryan Harbaugh. Perriman. Dives to the one yard line. Second and in inches. And they've got Webb in there for Morris in the backfield. Perriman. Touchdown Michigan. Coming into your face right here. Perriman just going to dive right over the top. There's no way. The offensive line just blows him out, and he goes over the top. Noga tried to hit him, but there was no chance on that play. That was great height, particularly for a fullback. 14 minutes and 17 seconds to go in this ball game. Michigan 17 and Hawaii 10. They didn't get there, and he got out a cruncher over the head, and it takes the bounce. This is inside the 10-yard line. And they'll stop it at the 2. An 82-yard kick by Monty Robbins to get his team out of a whole lot of trouble. And Perriman was the man downfield to count it. Not just an 82-yard punt, but 82 yards net. You can't hit him any bigger. They're gonna, they almost blocked a couple earlier. He reports a 19-yarder on him. This time he drills it when he needs it. Look at the floor. Beautiful toe, beautiful extension. He just hit it so far the defender didn't have a chance to catch it. Nice roll. The longest punt in Michigan history. 82 yards in the Wolverines. Lead it by a touchdown. Second and nine. Hawaii gains a yard. Play the game so far, boys. And they'll throw out of the end zone. And just overthrown, intended for Crowell out of the backfield. Mallory on the coverage. Michigan comes on the blitz. Five-man rush. Tipton wants it all. Just floats it way up there. It's up the grab. And Tipton incomplete. Ball was woefully underthrown that time. Hawaii is going to need an 82-yard punt. Blocked by my own uh, blocker's rear end, Kyle Alu, staying precariously close to that end line. Gant is waiting at the Hawaii 40-yard line to return this one. Alu needs to get one out of there. He gets out of beauty. Drives Gant back across midfield to the Michigan 45. Another big pressure kick. This one 52 yards by Kyle it's a hand from the crowd. Michigan with the ball in the 45. And Hawaii's defense has got to find a way to hold here the way they did last time. Wolverine's back in the wishbone. Now give it to Perriman. Perriman breaks it. It's a foot race. McCray trying to chase it down. And it's a touchdown Michigan.
his longest run of the season. Well, Perriman really has had the big, the big plays in this uh, fourth quarter. And in this case, Harbaugh's just going to hand off on the belly. And they just don't have anybody there. He's just absolutely untouched. He can't run the option any better. The first option is hand off to the big guy, let him run. You don't expect him to go 55 yards very often. That's good speed. And the safety had the angle on him and couldn't catch him. A 55-yard touchdown run to get Michigan. A 14-point lead in Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. It's up to the 20-yard line. Second and five, Michigan. Clock ticking downward, 535. And the Wolverines up by 14 points. We're going to go 11 to 1. Hard ball on the option. They don't cover him, but he dives forward to the 35. He'll be about a half yard shy of the first down on this one. We're down to four minutes and 25 seconds. Michigan first and 10 is working on the clock. And Harbaugh's back to throw. Wants it all. Throwing from McMurtry, and it's almost it Somehow he caught the ball over Sam Moku. Moku was in great position and he caught it. We well, certainly don't expect Michigan to put this ball up long when they've got a 14-point lead with a little over four minutes left in the game. This is just an outstanding catch. Good coverage He's with him all the way. Sam Moku, the Washington Murphy, go over the top. And just take it away from him. I can't believe that ball didn't go to the ground. That's two catches he's made today. They gave him this one, and he'll take the yardage. Don't know how he ever got the football from Sam Moku. Michigan just turning on the clock. Second and nine. Our ball keeps. Now he'll go outside to Webb. And Webb knocked down at the 10 yard line. to the end zone and incomplete off the fingertips of Jokic. And back there with him was Kapensis. Gillette will go for the 27-yard field goal. And puts it through. So with 2.39 to go, Michigan adds three points and is on top 27 to 10 restarted. It's down to three. There is Dick Tomey on the sideline. He's got to be disappointed yet proud of his kids. And there is Bo Schembechler. He's got a lot to be proud about, too. 11 and 1 on the year. And he will go across the field to shake hands with his former assistant coach in Miami of Ohio. Tomey was a graduate assistant at that point. And Schembechler congratulating some of the Hawaii players. Big smile from Bo. That's what we saw all day yesterday in practice. Scott's the young man from Australia right there. Michigan winning at 27 to 10. And the rain ball is going toward the locker room. Let's get down to the sideline and Tim Brandt. All right, and thank you, Mike and Pat. I'm very happy. I'm sure Coach Bo Schembechler with the fourth quarter. It was a very difficult game for you, though, Coach. Well, we thought it would be. They're a good team. Um, you know, the problem is back uh, in the mainland, we never get the scores till late. We never hear anything about Hawaii. Yeah. And we, you really don't know how good they are until you look at them in film. But they're a good team, and uh, they played hard. We knew it would be hard for us to win, especially after the Iowa State game and everything. It was kind of anticlimactic. So it was uh, it was a tough team to play. You didn't get all the breaks either early. McMurtry's catch that was uh, disallowed. That, can you believe that official would miss that one? I can't believe it. Now, you asked him. You said, did, did, I heard you. You said, now, did you see the play? Did you see the play? And then he pointed away. Both the other deep officials said, I saw the same thing you saw as a completion. That's the only guy that saw an incompletion. I said, well, overrule him. And none of them would do it. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about the play of Harbaugh because he's meant so much to you. And then today in the second half, the opening drive of the third quarter, he really was the key. He made the plays for you on the wish ball. He's, um, he's an excellent quarterback. He's a great quarterback. And he's done that all year. He's played very well all year. And, um, you know, some of that, um, uh, those plays that were breaking with the fullback in there, you know, that's hardball. That's not just the fullback. And um, he's done a great job for us. Now it's under the roses. Yeah, well, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, a lot of work to do. Thanks again, Coach. All right. Bo Schembechler, the head coach of the Michigan Wolverines, and another successful ending to a great year out of Ann Arbor. And we'll continue with more from Honolulu in just a moment.